All right, hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today, we are going to be going over some fixes for Titanfall 2. If you recently picked it up on Steam for like $4, they have it on sale. It's actually really, really good once you get it up and running. Um, go ahead with the game installation. Once the game is done installing, you're gonna hit play in Steam, and then it's going to open up the origin updater. Just click yes when it asks you yes or no for like the user, um, you know, the administrator pop-up. And once you go ahead and hit yes, it will install origin if you don't already have it installed or it will launch it by itself manually using an auto script. So after it launches origin and you log into your origin account, um, go ahead and wait for the game to load up. It might still be installing in Steam or whatever, like installing Microsoft Visual uh, updates or whatever. Um, once you get this like up and running, it might crash at the EA screen. Now, if you're crashing at the EA screen, there are a couple of things that you can do to prevent the crash. The first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is if you are using a NVIDIA graphics card, go ahead and download NVIDIA Geoforce Experience. If you do not have NVIDIA Geoforce Experience, download it off of uh, Google. Just type in NVIDIA Geoforce Experience and go ahead and download it, okay? And then we're gonna open up NVIDIA Geoforce Experience. And once we're open, we're gonna first make sure that your drivers are up to date. So go ahead, click here, check for updates. And then after that, we're gonna come over to the settings gear right here. And then we're gonna scroll down and then we're gonna see in-game overlay. We're just gonna go ahead and turn that off. And then once that's off, you can go ahead and close this. Now in Steam, we're gonna go ahead and go to Steam. We're gonna go to settings. We're gonna go to in-game. And then it's gonna say, enable the Steam overlay while in-game. Uncheck that box and hit okay. And then your origin settings because it doesn't support EA yet, you have to use Origin. Go ahead and go to Settings, Application Settings under Origin. And then um, just make sure your settings look exactly like mine. So default screen game library, language English, show origin after gameplay, yes. Um, make sure your download restrictions are at no limit. Automatic game updates are on. I keep off automatically update origin because I don't like it running around in the background while I'm doing other stuff. I keep off the origin helper service and I keep off automatically start origin. And then uh, we're going to go over to origin in game and we're going to make sure that enable origin in game is on and then allow unverified games is off. Okay, and then you can leave everything else like normal. So we're gonna click the little X right here to save it. And then you can go ahead and close origin. Now the last thing that you need to do is right click on Titanfall and Steam, go to properties, go to local files. First, you're gonna hit browse. And then you're gonna see these two things right here, titanfalltrial.exe and titanfall.exe. Now I already did this and this is exactly what fixed the game for me after I did everything else beforehand. You just right click and delete them. Delete these two files only and then empty your recycling bin after and then click on verify integrity of game files after you delete those two files. Now this is gonna take about 20 to 30 minutes for it to fix itself because it's such a big game. But once it realizes that it's missing some files, it's gonna go ahead and download those files that you were missing. So click on this after you delete both of those two files, Titanfall 2 and Titanfall 2 Trial. And my kitty cat is saying hello in the background. Hello kitty cat. It's okay kitty cat. So after you go ahead and reinstall or verify the integrity of the game files, which just, you know, reinstalls the EXEs, you need to come over here, your desktop, or to wherever your Steam is saved, find your Steam EXE, go to Properties, Compatibility, and then run this program as administrator. 
then click apply and OK. Make sure that this is checked off. Run this program as administrator. Apply and then OK. And then we're going to do the same thing to origin. Right click, properties. You're going to find where it is on your computer. For me, it's in my program files. And then compatibility. Check run this program as administrator. And then hit apply and OK. Once you set those things to start up as administrator, you should be able to go ahead uh, after it's done verifying the integrity of the files, which you can tell down here in the downloads manager on, St on Steam. Um, once that's done and it's down here and it says complete and it says clear all, go ahead and clear all. Go back to your library. Go to Titanfall after everything is done. You're going to want to reset origin and you're going to want to reset Steam. So you right click origin, quit origin right click steam quit steam and then just relaunch steam you don't really have to launch origin it'll do it automatically and then um once you do all of that now you can come down to titanfall 2 and you should be able to hit play and it should just work if you're having issues with other ea games as well you can try all of these fixes for the same games as well and it should be okay and make sure that when it pops up and asks your permission to connect to the internet, you allow public and you allow private and you hit OK. It's going to pop up with like a little box. It's going to say firewall or something. Make sure you allow it. If you do not allow that, then you're going to have to delete all your firewall settings and you're going to have to like relaunch it so that it asks you again. And that's like a whole nother video. So let's not do that. So um once it go ahead like once it connects and everything you should be fine to just straight up load into the game the only reason why it was kicking me out of the menu is because i was afk for so long if you're afk for like five minutes in this game in the main menu it'll kick you and it'll log you out so that other you know the servers don't get completely full and then you should just be able to go find game and then play multiplayer and then just hit okay and look it's searching for a match and this is official multiplayers i did not download any kind of mods i did not download that weird night thing that people use sometimes i don't use that i'm, I'm just playing vanilla titanfall 2 right now or not not vanilla but you know current patch and it is working fine with my steam and everything we'll even sign in the friends to show you guys that you know it, it is totally here i have one achievement and it's it's searching i did play this game a lot uh, yesterday, I played it for about an hour. It was really, really fun. I did kind of get into it. I'm so happy I got this on Steam for four bucks. If you don't have it, I suggest going to Steam, go to store, and uh, definitely pre order Hogwarts Legacy. Let's just be real. And then uh, come down here, go over, and then look for Titanfall 2 right here. Look at the Ultimate Edition for four dollars and 79 cents i had some steam balance so i got like two bucks off of that price so i really only paid like two something after tax for this and it's totally worth it because there's like a lot of people that still play this game there's like thirty thousand people online right now so you will definitely find a game and you'll definitely be able to play the game and enjoy it and you'll be able to play with people at your level too because there's so many new players hopping in and playing this game right now it's gotten really good over the years it, it literally it runs great super optimized and i really really hope that you guys have a fun time playing this game thank you so much for watching i'm sorry that ea doesn't fix them their games themselves and that we have to come up with solutions like these to be able to fix them for you so i apologize on ea's behalf for that <laughs> And I hope you guys have a safe day, leave a like and subscribe for more content, and I will see you in the next one.